There's one pass. We'll come back through. And it easily sucked up all of the spill. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Dreamy H11 Max Wet and Dry Vacuum. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the product's key features. So this is a wet and dry vac with smart dirt sensing technology and auto control vacuuming. We also have a roller brush self cleaning system built in and we have an LED display with voice assistance. You can see the nice dreamy packaging right here. They do a really good job. We have a nice product image on the back so you can see the whole vacuum and we have some more of their features advertised on the other side of the package. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see our product literature right here. We have a quick start guide walking us through installation and charging. Looks like it's gonna take about five hours to charge and we can get up to 35 minutes of battery life. Then they walk you through how to fill the tank, how to start cleaning and how to activate the one-click self-cleaning. You can see our full user guide and manual right here available in multiple languages with their customer service and contact information right there. Walking us through safety information, product overview, so we can learn everything we need to know about this wet dry vac, how to install, how to charge, how to use it, how to care and maintain it. They also have an FAQ section and troubleshooting for you. If you need any help and the product tech specs right here. So this does feature a 4,000 milliamp hour battery with a rating capacity of 3650 milliamp hours and approximately a five hour charging time. So our clean water tank capacity is 30.4 ounces and our dirty water tank capacity is 16.9 ounces. Next, you can see we have our charger right here for the base. You can see we have a nice handle. You can see we have a metal tube on it and then it's plastic up at the top, very comfortable to hold. You can see we got our thumb controls right there with our two buttons, really cool. And then our third button up at the very top. An extra filter as needed. We have a cleaning tool right here, a nice brush, and then check this out. This folds out and then we can actually cut away tangles and such, nice little safety blade. We have an additional roller brush as well too, right here, feels very soft, just like a paint roller. Next, you can see we have our charging base and stand right here. I went ahead, I put this extra piece already into it that came separate for our accessory storage. You can see what that looks like with the Dreamy logo and branding, our charging contacts. We can flip it over to the back side. You can see it from this side with our charging port. And last but not least, we have the wet dry vac itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. So here's a close up of the H11 Max. You can see we got the dreamy logo front and center for their nice branding. Love the finish of this and the look. So we have our clean water compartment up top. We just go ahead, we pull this back. We can fill it up with our faucet. And then we can just easily get it installed back into the vacuum. Then you can see at the bottom, we have our dirty water canister right here. We have our replaceable filter. You can also see on this side, we have our max fill line right there when we're gonna need to empty it. Same concept, it just snaps right back in. Now we can look at it towards the bottom. You can see we got the dreamy logo and branding again. We can pull these out if we need to remove the cover for easy cleaning or to replace the brush. You can see we have some additional instructions about the roller brush that we can remove before we use it. Also pay attention to the nice wheels. They got a rubbery coating on the outside, very soft. Here's a side profile look. You can see that right there. Now we can look at it from the back side. Again, this is a cordless wet dry vac. You can see what it looks like back here. We can take a look at the bottom as well. So you can see with our main roller, a couple of smaller wheels as well. Everything looks great. A lot of flexibility, how this can move around obstacles. You can see the pivot points that we have for it. Here's a look at the other side profile of it. Love the color a lot. Really nice color and build quality. And lastly, we can look at it from the top. Here it is from the top. So you can see our indicator display up here with all of our different 
options and what the lights are going to mean. So now let's go ahead. Now that we've looked at the vacuum, let's go ahead, let's get it set up. Set up simple and straightforward. You just have to go ahead and attach the included handle and it's only gonna go one way into the vacuum cleaner. So take note of the position of the handle right here and you're just gonna go ahead and slide it into the top. So here we go, we're gonna slide it in. So we lined it up. Now we just press until we hear a click. So there we go, it just clicked in place and now we're ready to charge up our wet dry vac so we can use it. So here we go, we got it all charged up and ready to go. In case you're wondering, our battery did come partially charged. We had 44% right out of the box, which is nice. That means you could use it right away for a quick clean if you wanted. Now our next step since it's fully charged is to add water so we can clean our floors. So here we go, you can see we got water in the tank. Now we're ready to install it back on our wet dry vac and we're ready to clean our floors. So here we go, we're gonna push the power button and you can see we're in auto mode and everything's working just fine right now. So check that out. You can see our screen and our indicator as well. So look at the pattern it's leaving on the floor as we get the brush wet. And then you can see it's going to be a nice, smooth application, even distribution of the water as our brush gets wet. You can see the real time dirt indicator on the screen as we go around the table got a dirty spot on the floor right there wow did a really nice job even under the camera tripod we got a dirty spot really smooth did great let's go over here now this is where our baby eats at so there's a lot of mess on the floor and it's doing a great job on our hard floors right here, cleaning for us. Started at 100% battery, you can see we're at 97 right now. And it's really doing a good job on the floors. Right here by the fridge, we have a dirty spot with some water residue. We can go over that right there, and man, it's doing a nice job right there as well some crumbs you can look at it in the direct sunlight you can see the wet spot after we go over the areas maybe we can try it this way too so you can see where we've applied it where we have it and now let's go back and you can see how it's going to look look at that so same thing with the glare on the floor you can get a feel for how dirty the floors are and go right over them very easily doing a really nice job. You can see how clean that is now versus these areas that haven't had any cleaning yet. So it's sucking up all the crumbs for us on the floor. It's not putting down too much water. Just a nice light application. Exactly what we need so it can dry very quickly. And you're not pushing a bunch of water around or anything like that with this wet dry vac. No issues at all with the crumbs and the dirt and the debris that it's picking up for us. We'll go over this mat too so you can see. Here we go. So we'll vacuum it, it picked up the leaf. Technically, it's mopping it some, but that's okay. Doesn't like the transition between the two, which is fine. Now it's taking it with us. So we got that little lip on the bottom of the rug that's what's causing it to move along with us and then we got a leaf on the floor over here you see that leaf right there sucked it right up no issues at all everything's working great so now just for fun i thought we'd try out the water absorption mode so let's go ahead let's turn back on our wet dry vac and then we're going to activate water absorption mode at the top right next to the power button and we're going to go over the spill on the floor. So check that out. It cleaned up that spill very, very easily. So now I thought we'd turn it up a notch. You can see I have the same spill on the floor again, but this time we added some debris to it. We have some Cheerios mixed in. So let's go ahead and let's see how it does. There's one pass. 
will come back through and it easily sucked up all of the spill and all of the Cheerios that were on the floor. And you can see in real time, the indicator was changing because it's still dirty over there. And now you can see, we'll make a couple more passes until the whole area is gonna be clean for us. And there we go, everything is now clean and we're seeing the green on our real time indicator. At this point, I also want to point out that the Dreamy H11 Max can also stand upright on its own. That's really a nice feature. You don't have to worry about it falling over, tipping over, or anything like that. Now it's time to clean the rest of the house and check out the results. So I just finished my first clean. I'd say we covered between seven and 800 square feet for our downstairs floor. I want to point out the battery is still at 72%. So keep that in mind, whatever floor you have, you'll be able to at least clean it probably multiple times before you have to put it back on the charger. I wanted to show you guys the contents of everything, how the brush looks before we did the self-cleaning. So let's go ahead, let's look at our dirty water bin right there. And I just dripped some of it. But now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the top. So just kind of hold it and then you can see you can grip it and pull it out. And there we go, check out that dirty, gross water with our Cheerios inside. Most of that is our spill and a little bit of water that we cleaned up with it. Very easy to dump and rinse out, and you can see what that looks like. We got some hairs and fibers as well, as you would expect since this is vacuuming your floor. Now we can go ahead and snap that back in. Now I want to show you guys what the brush looks like right here. So here's the brush, it's wet. It has not been cleaned yet. It actually looks pretty good still because this is, you know, brand new. We've only used it one time. But check that out. Let's see if I go ahead. Let's remove the cover right there so you can really see what the brush looks like. No tangles, nothing like that. We have a little bit of buildup down here. This is the piece, if you can see it right here. This is the piece that was getting caught on the rug. So you can see what we're working with right there. But for hard floors and surfaces, this is a really nice cleaner. Now let's go ahead, let's use the cleaner on the charging base to clean our brush. So now you can see I have it on the charging base right here. Let's go ahead, let's activate the self-cleaning. We're gonna press this button. And here we go. It's self-cleaning the brush right now. Pretty cool, it's doing its thing. I can see a lot of hairs and fibers and stuff coming off right here. And we also have, there we go. Oh, that was cool. So I can see the water building up on the base. The water level is rising as it was cleaning itself. And there we go. You can see it sucked up a lot of the contents right back in that it was using to clean itself. And now you can see the brush is still spinning and it's cleaning it some more. That's really cool. Brush is still spinning. Cleaning completed. And there Please we go. The dirty water tank. Cool, just finished cleaning, gave us a prompt Please to clean, clean the dirty, the dirty water, water tank. tank. And now let's go ahead, let's Start look at the charging. brush. You can see we have the brush right here. Again, this is so new, it didn't make that much of a difference, but what's nice is it'll keep this brush clean and fresh longer that we get to clean it every time we want to after we use this wet dry vac. So really a nice feature built right into our wet dry vac. So overall, I've had a great experience using the Dreamy H11 Max cordless wet dry vac. You can't go wrong with this product. It is top notch from how it looks to how it performs and all the features that we get at this price point. It is really a nice wet dry vac and it does a great job. I am very pleased with it overall. My favorite feature besides how it looks and the build quality construction of this wet dry vac is that real time indicator on our LED screen at the top letting us know color coded green, red, if the floor is really dirty, that sort of thing. I love getting that instant smart feedback letting us know the condition of our floor and where we should focus our cleaning efforts on. That is really a nice feature. It's not essential but once you use a vacuum or a wet dry vac, with that indicator, it's really hard to go back to using one without it. Now, 
After singing its praises, there are a couple things I'd like to see improved in the future. The biggest one is my own personal preference. I would still love to have built-in LED lights somewhere down here so we can really see on the floor where we're going and what we're cleaning. That's just my own preference. Again, I love using vacuums that have built-in LEDs and it's kind of like the same thing with that indicator. Once you have it, it's hard to go back to using one without it, but you may argue, well, since it has that indicator, it's not necessary for this wet dry vac and that's totally a valid point. Other than that, I'd love to have more controls, maybe some sort of menu settings and options where we can tweak the power, the suction power, as well as the water capacity. We could turn those up or down depending on our preferences, but overall really pleased with this product. And I want to point out too, there is cleaner available as well if you want to mix some solution in to the top as you're cleaning your floors. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.